you know, you are a man, obviously, of terrestrial mm. origins, but in some ways you are transcending um, to a more divine plane through these works. And I think that really comes out, not just in the mode of making, but in the color choices as well. You are trying to evoke something, I think, with each painting, something different, um, something otherworldly. One thing that I see often when I'm working is another object of contemplation is just to watch my body as I'm working or pay attention just to what my hands are doing. And I become really aware that they're just doing their thing. There's no, there's no active willfulness on my part that's determining what's happening. And if, I'm, if I ever get stuck at some point, as far as making a color choice in particular, I can just sit down and look at what's in front of me and just watch my hands go and, and there will be the, the next color. So it's, it's ironic because when you think of creative process, that's supposed to be the Deliberate. ultimate, yeah, and the ultimate act of personal freedom, but it really strikes me as it, that is when it becomes really apparent that things are out of your hands, that things are, effects are following causes, and the next color is the result of not just the prior colors on that painting, but all the paintings that came before it.